The Blomon Foss BV222 Viking flying boat was originally designed as a commercial transatlantic plane. During the war it was used by the Luftwaffe as a transport and recon plane. In total only 13 were built and 8 of those were early versions. Hence information on this plane is limited and sources are scarce. Thus take everything with a grain of salt. The crew for the transport version was 6 men, whereas the recon version used up to 11 men. Now if those crew members were about 1.8 meters tall, then they would be about this size in comparison to the plane. After all it had a length of 36.5 meters or around 120 feet and a wingspan of 46 meters or around 151 feet. Since the banana for scale doesn't really work here, here is a B of 109 and the B17 to give you an overall impression on the size of this flying boat which was the largest operational German flying boat during the war. The BEV-222 had a top speed of around 345 km or 230 miles per hour. To give you some reference with other flying boats from the time, the US Martin GI Mars reached 365, the Japanese H-8K2 and a sounding 465 and finally the British Sunderland 336 km per hour. But more interesting is the cruising speed which is pretty similar for all planes and is the highest for the BV-222 with 310 km or 193 miles per hour. Note that the other planes had 4 engines not 6 engines like the BV-222. The range was varied for the different versions starting from 3100 km leading up to 7450 km or 4600 miles. The empty weight started at about 26 tons for the transport version and reached almost 30 metric tons for the late recon versions, which is about the weight of a mid-war T-34. The carrying capacity ranged from 15 to 18 tons, which is slightly above the maximum takeoff weight of a Heinkel 111. In terms of space it could transport around 92 fully equipped infantrymen or 72 wounded men on stretchers, which is an important number because it was often used for transporting troops and supplies to a feature of operations and returning with wounded men, which brings us to the operational history. The BV-222 planes were used in two main roles, transport and recon. In these roles they reached places that were off limits for many other German planes. They returned injured soldiers from remote areas like Kirkenes in northern Finland, transported supplies to Rommel's troops in North Africa and one dropped spare parts at a weather station in the Arctic. Some sources indicate that the BV-222 shot down a Lanchester, where others state that this is incorrect and it was a US Navy B-24 instead. I think both claims are highly debatable. After all, the BV-222 had a limited defense armament and its max speed was about the same as the cruising speed of a B-24. Hence any intercept attempt would be quite problematic. In the end, from the original 13 plates, most were shot down or destroyed on the ground. Others were scuttled by the crews at the end of the war. Still, three survived, they were captured, tested and finally scuttled by the British and US forces. One was supposedly sunk in a low oxygen environment. Thus, it would be well preserved if you decide to raise it. And by the way, if you do, give me a call. Well, the only thing we need now is gauging adding this piece to War Thunder. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And see you next time.